Hello everyone, Xenism here, and welcome to the next episode of Star Wars Coder. Last time, we saved some scientists, and I found out, yeah, I hit the glitch. I cannot continue Juhani's romance. This upsets me, because it's, er, because it's not too well documented. I will put in the link to a set of videos that show off, show off what you have to do, and all that. Should be fine. So I'm just doing quick some quick calculations. Stasis. Yeah, five. That'll be the last. And we will be fine. <laughs> <sighs> and we have to leave. Where did you go? How did you get back here without... Back to the surface. You just got lucky. Or when the Republic sends a real if you're go if you're going to go in Well, too bad. We'll be leaving. Alright. And we will return to the Ebon Hawk. You've returned. I was beginning to feel Please continue your. Yeah, we'll be back. Now we can return to the Ebon Hawk. Okay. Now go to the last planet, which will give us the last. Map. Statement. H. A firm request. Let's get started. No. 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 Sup. Uh. <sighs> Very well. We'll do this later. Let's see if we can get carved to stop. Yes. What's on your mind? I want to continue our discussion. For I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes, Bombors. Listen, out. sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. You're damn right, does. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? I'm frustrating. Look who's talking. Me? What did I do? Oh, that's rich. Where have you been? <sighs> okay, I give up. You win. Look, I suppose. I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. You say that name like I should know it. The name sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. 
Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Okay, you've not seen from I that. didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst. I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. So you blame yourself for trusting your friend? I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. So that's all of it then? No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Leave and come back. But just in case. Might as well level these two up. Yes, what you got? First, I should talk to Yeah, what do you. Hmm. I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. The one where Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. When we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake. But the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. Hiding in the homes of civilians, using families as shields, thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve, and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. I have no time or patience for cowards. They deserve to be hunted down and exterminated like vermin. There was no honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. Later, when Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. Is there something? Nothing more for now. Yeah, what? We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints. Counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike. 
and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. There was no one else. The entire Republic had committed its forces behind Revan. The Sith had retreated back to their empire, and there were none else strong enough to challenge us. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. Yeah, we lost. But there is no shame in it. We lost to the greatest single warrior the Republic has ever known. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? And that is all we can get from Candorus for now. Until plot happens, we can't actually get any more information. However, Carf, yes, what's get... on your mind? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they... don't they have to train you? A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? Huh, <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Yes, what's on your mind? I, um, uh, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle Over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these, these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. It doesn't, I know. I, it's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? Okay. Yes, what's you get now if we can bring both of these guys outside, we should have one of them proc a quest. 
I don't know which one. We'll proc it, but hey. Hopefully we'll get Karfs, and then we can get Tandarus's lair, because his takes us past Tatooine. Meanwhile, Karfs doesn't. Nope. Yeah, what? No. You're... Yes, what's on your mind? You get. Okay, so we can't. You know, figure out everything later. Again, to appear, even them to appear now, I'll do so after plot. Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, okay, so I, I already this. told you he betrayed us all. Seems more personal than that. Is that well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. It's just that I don't talk about it very much. Okay, I told you about my home world, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but th they didn't come in time. Of course not. How could you? I've... I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. No, it's all right. I don't mind. You deserve some kind of, uh, explanation. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, that's the story, for what it's worth. I've, uh, never talked about it before to anyone. I suppose it's time I finally did. Before we go to the next planet, uh... You know what? We'll go to Tatooine. Oh, really? Come on! And I'm mainly doing this. Incoming fighters! Getting really good at that. Would you get good at that? You don't need to worry. I'm glad that got removed from the second game. And I'm happy that people made mods to remove that because honestly, it's annoying. And you'll get worse later. You know what? Bring both of them just in case. Because I'm quite sure. Karth! Karth Onassi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your pretty friend here, hey? How do you do, miss? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on the 
Well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean... Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you... are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's, um... he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean, he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no... No problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. Oof. Oof. There is nothing to say. Oh, that must be painful. But now, finally head to Corbin. Another force vision. Another one. Two. A two my past. Corbin. How can I help? Yes, that brought me a lot. Thank you. Right, that's her qu How quest. Can I, help? I do. I have been trying to come up with. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not. Well, yes. No, I'm not. What? I see. I know my manic. I spent. I remember when I was younger. I used. Yeah, this is. Yes, well, being controlled has kept everyone. But me. Well, but. In How can I help? Then I. We can't have her talking about Corbin. Great. Uh, basically, what she says is that she can't be seen out there because she'll be recognized. So, we're going to take these two out, but we're not going to be using Jolie. Well, we might, but we're, we're mainly here to hear some great voice lines. Let's go. Keep it one on Ipobo. Don't nab. You're wrong. I am not sure. <laughs> Because this is such a cheap 
pay it. I'll be on my way. No, this is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Hmm. You! Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Well, if you can't think of anything cruel, you really shouldn't be out here, young man, should you? I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Why? What did they do? We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence! It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? Let them go. That's my Let decision. them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? Force persuade. I want to let them go. Yes, that's, that's right. They're, they're not worth my time. I'm on my head. What, what was that? I feel like they... <sighs> Just get out of here, all of you. I don't have time for this. One of the evil... Well, evil roots? Has Joy been like... Why don't you just shoot them? And then... HK, HK or uh, Kinderish would say, That's what I would do. Which is... And he's like... Of course you would. First, talk to you. What some merchandise do you offer? Can I see your merchandise? Cassus Fetz Heavy Pistol. We want that. Though, I don't know why that's there. I thought it was somewhere else. She'll sell this. Because we got a lot of stuff we can sell. Uh, Kalanor's battle armor might be useful still, so... Mandalorian battle armor. <sighs> Sell one of these, because they're not really useful. I want to keep all these, because they might be useful. Heavy Blaster can be sold, that can be sold, that can be sold. These can be sold because the Bowcasters have inferiority compared to these two Bowcasters, really. I uh, want to keep that. Sell that, sell that. We could sell some grenades, but we want to keep one grenade. We can sell the rest. We will keep a thermal detonator though. That'll be for selling later. Adhesive grenades, crowdbound grenades, 
plasma grenades, ion grenades. Those are basically useless now. Uh, Ray mask, not really useful. Yeah, most of these are honestly for later. That is useless now. That's useless now. And minor frag. Okay. Ciao, Basso. Can I see merchandise? Because I forgot. Gas suspects heavy pistol. Bendix Blaster and then Advance Tire to Computer Heavy Plating Type 2 Advanced Stun Ray I'm here. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Well, if he'd seen us before, we wouldn't be newcomers, would we? <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers, to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? I don't think there's any need for us Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? Twelve. No, wait, thirteen. Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Er, uh, okay. Visu Mandalorians are Go amused. on. Well, the glasses doesn't seem to be breathing, and the size of over them. Or my one takes us commute current I've heard matter. this one before. I think... Quiet! Guess... My partner has collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, command request. Calm down, and I can then. help. First, let's make sure your partner is dead. For a silence, then a blast shot is heard. Back on the communicator, man line says. Okay, now what? <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the book. Well, it certainly didn't amuse. Oh, I see. But we'll just have. <laughs> it looks like this one's not afraid of you at all, Lasho. Are you going to let us be insulted? Oh, get over yourself already. I'm tired of this. Yeah, this one's got some backbone at least. Let's go. Fine. I'll deal with you later. He wants to know. Yes, I will. I can take a look for it. Okay. Doing this will actually be useful. Oh, we can speak to Jolie now. Never did I actually say what you need to say. No. You know, I don't have to take you with me. Of course you do. I know things. 
You think you could make it around this part of the galaxy without me? But, but uh, don't answer that. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to. We want to where? To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. No, really. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? Damn right it is. You got a smart mouth on you there, you know that? If others could talk, they'd sound like that. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Interest? Well, I certainly don't have a vested interest. Call it more idle curiosity. Your destiny is rather unclear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. So you're coming along to not offer your opinions? I'll remind you that you're the one who started pumping me for information. Like an old man doesn't have anything better to do. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can't be all bad. Nomi? Nomi, Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine. Fine, lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. So you're... I don't bring you along for your amusement, Oh, you. stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Great. Let's open now. Thought there was. There was definitely meant to be some sort of workshop. See you, Ferra. Also, so get a medallion. Trash day. this looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport my friends this is good I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy me too so how about it chump ready to die I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests but we do isn't it obvious 
Yeah, I don't want to fight you. Hey, that's a Jedi trick. What? You, you won't get away with this. I try and do this piece. And this is what I get for my trouble. Oh. Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. We eat a na, dana titai, jipi kasa. Please! You're jealous. You're jealous of my power! You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? Well, let's just see. See? I have the power to do anything! Pudu, Tuni Rama na praka donko search. Sniveling fool! Like you would ever belong beside me in the academy. I'd rather kill you now and save us the trouble. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi, just keep walking. Unless you want some of the same. Sorry, but I'm not gonna let you kill You can't one. stop me! You first, human! And then she dies. Bondar. So we went to quickly do some modification to the lightsabers. Plus, upgrade KHK-47's new blaster. Because being real, we're best to do that now. First lightsaber. Sigil. Bondar. Assemble. Green lightsaber, which is Jolie's. Given the Krite Dragon Pearl. Blastlas for some reason doesn't appear. But now with all both of those we're gonna watch some great numbers. Now we can show off to your Yifra.
Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll actually get what this guy wants. Which guy? What he wants is a reference to the Dune! So we'll get to speak about that later. Save here, mostly because I don't remember if we can not go. Can you not see that I am busy, human? Oh, I see you have a medallion. Where did you get it? I see. How very enterprising of you. Though that is not the normal way that we select our students for the academy. We Sith do encourage such independent thinking. You may even be a suitable candidate to join us. That is what you wish, I take it. And yet, here you are in Little Korriban, just by accident? I find it hard to believe. If it amuses you, however, I'll play along. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. If a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare. Or turn tail and run. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you... Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something... Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the... As I thought... How interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here? With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Per ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? They are slaves. Don't worry about that. My hearing's not so good. I'm just pleased my nice master doesn't beat me so much anymore. Yes, sir. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the academy? Not yet. Then come back when you're ready, but do not take long. I will leave without you. Now, okay, since I'm switching to T3. <laughs> you have come back. Good. Yes, I am. Then let us leave. <laughs> Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. 
They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy, all so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikl? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Are you? I can see into your heart, young human. And I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith, and tell me of it, will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. And we'll get to speak to Ufar... Ufar... later. And by later, I mean very, very, very soon. T3! God damn it. We can get these robes. To, to you for ah there you are my favorite prospect for the year absolutely by my estimation you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the sith than any of the others as a matter of fact i am so certain of that that i'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once in a lifetime variety would you like to hear it good i do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance as i said you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. What's so important? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now... I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Nope. Because... I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. 
You must impress Master U The code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. There are a group of students who Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves. We are certain if you were to shall I go? I would suggest you I but just the only it's possible. Okay, so this is just telling you. Tell me about uh, yourself. You What do you wish? I am eager to get this over with. I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? I see. As I, I, I stole. I, it was. This is kind of helpful. Is it? But we'll need to do as much as we can. Hello again. I. What? Friend, is it? I, hello again. What? There is always. Is it? God, I, that means we can't get it. God dang it. But before we do anything, actually, we should need to do this first. Uh, unlock it. Ready! Now we can talk to Master U4 for the one of the best lines, I believe. Unless I chose the wrong option. Four, but I believe Ufar talked to Ufar is what does it. Nice Greetings, position. young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you. How do I gain prestige? Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds or bring yes, me a suitably it. valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Observation. We could begin by slaughtering the inhabitants of this building, Master. Would that be impressive? No, I didn't mean us as well, you moronic droid. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her <laughs> advice. Ah. <sighs> oh, might as well do this now. Then finish the peace is a... There is only passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory... My chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. False. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Okay, that on the way. I believe. Yeah, we can. We actually have to leave. Out to Dreshte. And with that, that will be the end of this episode. Yeah. We won't be able to commit Carve's son yet. Hmm. <sighs> really, Carf? But, what's this? Next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We will try and gain more prestige and gain more repair to be able to repair HK47. This is Zeno and Zuma, signing out.